We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. Abra, Ilocos Norte, and Ilocos Sur suspended its classes and work in the government due to the impact of the strong earthquake that jolted the region last night. The epicenter of the 6.4 magnitude earthquake was recorded at the municipality of Tineg in Abra. In its advisory, Abra Governor Dominic Valera, who is also the chairperson of the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, said classes in all levels in both private and public schools as well as work in all local and national government agencies in the entire province are suspended to prioritize inspection of damages. Accepted from work suspension are those who are directly involved in the provisions of critical emergency services and disaster risk reduction management. Meanwhile, classes and work in Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur are likewise suspended to assess the damage of the tremor. In a Facebook post, Ilocos Norte Governor Matthew Manotok urges all the local government units in the province to open all possible evacuation centers and prepare food, water, and other necessities for evacuees. Ilocos Sur Governor Jerry Singson also orders the immediate evacuation of residents in the coastal areas and to take the necessary measures to ensure public safety. President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos has stressed the importance of shifting the government's focus to primary health care to ensure the successful fight against health crises and sustain the effective delivery of essential health services. In a courtesy call made by the World Health Organization Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus in Malacanang, he discussed with the President the importance of adequate testing and the readiness to fight the outbreaks of diseases. The WHO chief also called for continued vigilance to defeat COVID-19. In response, Marcos said it is time to begin recalibrating the strategies by putting a premium on primary health care, considering the country's progress in managing the pandemic. He also emphasized the need to find a balance between the economy and the people's safety. He also sought to renew focus on general public health concerns as he noted the increase in cases of other diseases. Gebriesos is in the country to participate in the 73rd WHO Western Pacific Regional Committee meeting in Manila from October 24 to October 28. President Ferdinand R. Marcos has called on lawmakers to accelerate bills on the digitalization of government services as the country aspires to keep up with advances in technology. President Marcos graced the two-day National Information and Communications Technology Summit 2022 that opened today at the Manila Hotel. In a speech, Marcos urged Congress to speed up the passage of an e-governance bill that will lead the way to achieving the country's vision of a digital Philippines. Marcos acknowledged the continuing progress of technology spearheaded by the private sector. He said the government must learn these technologies and techniques and take advantage of them as it pursues public-private partnerships to improve the economy and uplift the lives of the Filipinos. Earlier, the Office of the Press Secretary said the administration seeks digitalization to enhance the delivery of public services and create employment and investment opportunities and bring about post-pandemic recovery. We are committed to realize the vision of a digital Philippines. We will achieve this by enhancing the country's digital infrastructure, improving the regulatory framework for innovation, ensuring cybersecurity, and developing the country's digital workforce, amongst other things. The government will also facilitate the swift passage of the e-governance and e-government bills. We have to digitalize if we are going to keep up. All our plans for the transformation of the economy and our continuing redefinition of the Philippines' place in the community of nations, all of that depend upon your work. In other news, Pagasa is monitoring tropical depression Paeng, which developed from a low-pressure area this morning. 
Tropical depression Paeng was last seen over 1,000 kilometers east of the Easter Visayas region. Pagasa said Visayas and Caraga will experience moderate to heavy with at times intense rains in the next 24 hours due to the shear line and trough of Paeng. Light to moderate with at times heavy rains may be experienced over Quezon, Bicol region, northern Mindanao and Zamboanga Peninsula. Palawan and the whole of Visayas in Mindanao will experience scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. And that is the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head onto the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We are also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and Radio Pilipinas, RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I am William Theo. We tell stories that inspire change. Good day, everyone.